This video summarizes the steps for the proper installation, operation, and maintenance of the Proco 700 series rubber check valves. Please refer to the IOM manual provided for additional guidance and precautions. Before installation, always store and handle your product with care and complete the correct pre-installation checks. Details for this can be found in your IOM manual. The Style 710 and 711 rubber check valves are designed to bolt directly to existing flanges or new installations. Carefully place and align the rubber check valve into the system. For horizontal applications, the bill of the check valve should be in vertical orientation relative to the ground unless there are clearance issues. Position the split retaining rings onto the flange of the check valve. Insert the flange bolting and tighten to a snug, tight fit. Now gradually torque each bolt in a star pattern within the product's specified range. The Style 720 rubber check valve is designed to fit directly inside of existing piping systems. Insert the slip-in flanged rubber check valve into the existing pipe. For horizontal applications, the bill of the check valve should be installed in a vertical orientation in the mating pipe. Reattach the two mating pipe flanges, insert the flange bolting, and tighten to a snug tight fit. Now gradually torque each bolt in a star pattern within the product's specified range. The styled 730 and 731 rubber check valves are designed to easily slip over an existing pipe and is affixed to the pipe with heavy-duty stainless steel clamps. Slip the rubber check valve over the existing pipe. For horizontal applications, the bill of the check valve must be installed in a vertical orientation relative to the ground unless there are clearance issues. Add the external clamps to the slip-on rubber check valve. Tighten the external clamp until the rubber is compressed by the external clamp and a tight fit is achieved. Once the check valve is installed, drill holes and insert the anchor pinning bolts. Then fix the pins by welding, silicone, or adhesive to secure in place. For more details, please refer to the IOM manual. The Style 740 rubber check valve is designed to slip directly inside of an existing pipe and is supplied with a stainless steel expandable clamp to secure in place. Insert the slip-in check valve inside the existing pipe for horizontal applications, the bill of the check valve must be installed in vertical orientation. Insert the expandable internal clamp into the rubber check valve. Tighten the expandable internal clamp until the stainless steel portion of the clamp has embedded itself into the rubber cuff of the valve. Once the check valve is installed, drill a hole and insert the anchor pinning bolt. Then fix the pin by welding, silicone, or adhesive to secure in place. For more details, please refer to the IOM manual. The Style 750 rubber check valve is designed with a full metal enclosure, which allows easy installation in existing piping systems. Insert and align the assembly into the piping system, noting the direction of flow and orientation of the valve. Insert the flange bolting and tighten to a snug, tight fit. Now gradually torque each bolt in a star pattern within the product's specified range. The slip-in and flanged style 790 rubber check valves are designed to slip directly inside of an existing pipe with a supplied stainless steel expandable clamp or retaining ring to secure in place. Insert the slip-in style 790 check valve inside the existing pipe, noting the direction of flow and orientation of the valve, and push until inlet end is flush with the end of the pipe. Insert the expandable internal clamp into the end rubber check valve. Tighten the expandable internal clamp until the stainless steel portion of the clamp has embedded itself into the rubber cuff of the valve. Once the check valve is installed, drill holes and insert the anchor pinning bolts, then fix the pins by welding, silicone, or adhesive to secure in place. For more details, please refer to the IOM manual. Insert the flanged style 790 check valve inside the existing pipe. Note the direction of flow and orientation of the valve and push until flanged inlet end is flush with mating pipe flange. If required, position the split retaining rings onto the flange of the check valve. 
Insert the flange bolting and tighten to a snug, tight fit. Now gradually torque each bolt in a star pattern within the product's specified range. The ProFlex Series 700 check valves require little operational requirements or maintenance. Periodic inspection is recommended as per the IOM manual. We hope this installation video has been helpful. Please ensure you refer to the IOM manual as it contains further details and precautions.